Are carbs really the enemy, or have we been misled? That's the question we're going to dive into today, as we kick off this exploration into the controversial world of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, or carbs as they're more commonly known, are one of the three main types of nutrients our bodies need to function. They're the body's primary source of energy, powering everything from your morning jog to your late-night Netflix binge. But despite their essential role, carbs have been painted as the villain in our diets. You've probably heard the term low-carb thrown around a lot lately. It's become a buzzword in the world of health and nutrition, with many people swearing by low-carb diets as the secret to weight loss and improved health. But is there any truth to these claims, or are we simply falling victim to another dietary fad? To answer that, we first need to understand what carbohydrates are. They're organic compounds made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. They come in three main types, sugars, starches, and fiber. Sugars are the simple carbs found in foods like fruit and milk. Starches are complex carbs found in foods like bread and pasta. And fiber, well, that's a whole other story. What's important to remember is that not all carbs are created equal. Some provide us with essential nutrients and energy, while others can lead to weight gain and health issues. It's this distinction that often gets lost in the noise, leading to the blanket demonization of all carbs. But it's not as simple as carbs are bad. Our bodies need carbohydrates to function properly. They fuel our muscles, provide energy for our brains, and play a crucial role in our overall health and well-being. The problem arises when we consume too many of the wrong types of carbs and not enough of the right ones. It's a matter of balance and understanding, not outright avoidance. So carbohydrates play a vital role in our body, but what happens when we consume them in excess? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the good, the bad, and the carbs. It's not about all carbs, but about the right kind of carbs. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of carbohydrates. There are two main types of carbs, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates, as the name suggests, are straightforward in structure. They're composed of one or two sugars, making them quick to digest and convert into energy. However, this rapid digestion can lead to spikes in blood sugar, causing a rush of energy followed by a crash. Foods with these carbs are often sweet to the taste, like candy, soda, and pastries. On the other hand, complex carbohydrates are more intricate. They're made up of three or more sugars, woven together in a kind of nutritional tapestry. Because of their complex structure, our bodies take longer to break them down, providing a more steady and sustained energy release. This means no sudden energy high and subsequent crash. Foods rich in these carbs include whole grains, legumes, and starchy vegetables. But how does our body process these two types of carbs? When we consume simple carbs, our body quickly breaks them down into glucose, the body's main source of energy. This sudden influx of glucose can cause our blood sugar levels to skyrocket triggering our pancreas to release insulin to bring those levels back down. But this can often lead to a blood sugar crash, leaving us feeling tired and hungry. In contrast, when we consume complex carbs, our body takes its time, slowly converting these carbs into glucose. This results in a more balanced blood sugar level, avoiding those sharp highs and lows. The slower digestion also keeps us feeling full for longer, aiding in weight management. So, in the grand scheme of things, not all carbohydrates are created equal. Some can lead to energy crashes, hunger, and even weight gain, while others can provide sustained energy, satiety, and support a healthy weight. The key is to focus on consuming more complex carbs and less simple ones. Understanding the difference between these types of carbs can help us make better dietary choices. What could possibly go wrong with an extra slice of bread, right? Well, let's delve into the potential ramifications of overindulging in carbohydrates. You see, our bodies break down carbohydrates into sugars, which are then used for energy. But when we consume more carbs than our bodies can use, the excess sugars are stored as fat. Over time, this can lead to weight gain. And we're not just talking about a few extra pounds here. Regularly eating a high-carb diet can significantly increase your risk of obesity. That's right, that innocent extra slice of bread could be contributing to a bigger waistline and a higher number on the scale. But the potential consequences of consuming too many carbohydrates don't stop at weight gain. Over time, a high-carb diet can also put you at risk for type 2 diabetes. When you eat carbs, your body's blood sugar levels rise. To manage this, your body releases insulin. However, 
If your diet is consistently high in carbs, your body may begin to struggle to keep up with the demand for insulin. This can lead to insulin resistance and eventually, type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, carbohydrates, especially those of the refined variety, can have a negative impact on your heart health. Studies have linked high-carb diets to an increased risk of heart disease. This is because these diets can lead to weight gain, high blood pressure, and high levels of LDL cholesterol, all of which are risk factors for heart disease. So the next time you're tempted to reach for that extra slice of bread or a second serving of pasta, consider the potential consequences. Remember, while carbohydrates are a necessary part of our diet, they should be consumed in moderation. Opt for whole grains over refined carbs and balance your carb intake with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Clearly, overconsumption of carbs is not without consequences. It's important to make informed decisions about our diet and understand how our food choices can impact our health in the long term. After all, our bodies are the only ones we've got. Let's treat them well. Ever wondered why that bagel could be sabotaging your weight loss efforts? Let's delve into the connection between carbs and weight gain. Carbohydrates are your body's primary source of energy. They are broken down into simple sugars during digestion, which are then absorbed into your bloodstream. This causes a rise in blood sugar levels, triggering your pancreas to release insulin. Insulin is like a key, unlocking your cells to let the sugar in to be used as energy. If you're active, your body uses this energy right away. But what happens when you consume more carbohydrates than your body needs? Well, your body is a pretty efficient machine. It's always thinking ahead. When you eat more carbs than it can use, it stores some for later in your liver and muscles in the form of glycogen. But there's a limit to how much glycogen these tissues can hold. Once they're full, the excess carbohydrates are converted into fat and stored in your adipose tissues, which have virtually unlimited storage capacity. This fat accumulation contributes to weight gain. Now this doesn't mean you should eliminate carbs from your diet completely. Remember, they're your body's preferred source of energy. Plus, not all carbs are created equal. Complex carbs like whole grains and legumes are digested slowly, providing a steady supply of energy, and they're packed with fiber, which keeps you feeling full longer. On the other hand, simple carbs like those in white bread and sugary snacks are quickly digested, causing a rapid spike and crash in blood sugar levels, which can leave you feeling hungry soon after eating. The key then is not to avoid carbs but to choose them wisely, opt for whole, unprocessed foods over refined, sugary ones, and listen to your body. Only eat when you're hungry and stop when you're satisfied, not stuffed. Remember, it's not just about losing weight, but about nurturing your body with the nutrients it needs to function at its best. Carbs are not inherently bad, but moderation is key. Not all carbs are as obvious as a bowl of pasta. We often think of carbohydrates as the usual suspects. Bread, pasta, rice, and potatoes. But they can lurk in places you'd least expect. Take yogurt, for instance. You might think it's a healthy snack, right? Well, a single cup of fruit-flavored yogurt can pack as many carbs as two slices of bread. That's because sugar, a simple carbohydrate, is often added for flavor. And let's talk about vegetables. Yes, you heard it right. Vegetables like corn, peas, and potatoes are high in carbs. They're not bad for you, but if you're watching your carb intake, you might want to consider alternatives like spinach, broccoli, or zucchini, which are lower in carbs. Now, on to fruits. Fruits are nature's candy, packed with vitamins, fiber, and yes, carbohydrates. A medium-sized apple, for instance, contains about 25 grams of carbs. That's equivalent to a slice of bread. And drinks? Don't get me started on drinks. A single can of soda can contain up to 40 grams of carbs, all from sugar. Even that healthy-sounding fruit juice can be a sugar bomb. So where does this leave us? It's not about demonizing carbs or avoiding them completely. It's about understanding where they come from and making smart choices. Carbs are not the enemy. The enemy is not knowing what's in our food. These hidden carbs can add up quickly without you even realizing it. And when they do, they can contribute to health problems such as weight gain, diabetes, and heart disease. But with knowledge comes power. By understanding where carbs hide, you can make informed choices about what you eat. So the next time you reach for that healthy snack, take a moment to check the label. You might be surprised at what you find. Being aware of hidden carbs can help us make healthier choices. So let's unmask those hidden carbs together, one food label at a time. Should we all jump on the low-carb bandwagon? Well, it's not as simple as a yes or no answer. 
Like most aspects of life, it's a balance. Let's start with the potential benefits of a low-carb diet. It's been associated with weight loss, improved heart health, and better blood sugar control. When you reduce your carbohydrate intake, your body is forced to use stored fat for energy, which can lead to weight loss. Additionally, a low-carb diet can help to lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels, contributing to a healthier heart. As for blood sugar, well, with fewer carbs in your system, there's less sugar to convert, aiding in the management of diabetes. However, these benefits come with a caveat. Achieving them requires discipline, commitment, and most importantly, understanding. It's not just about cutting out bread, pasta, and sugar. It's about knowing what to replace them with and ensuring that your body still gets the nutrients it needs. Now let's look at the other side of the coin, the drawbacks. A low-carb diet can lead to nutrient deficiencies if not managed properly. Carbohydrates are a primary source of fiber, which aids in digestion. Without enough fiber, you might experience constipation or other digestive issues. Then there's the issue of energy. Carbohydrates are our body's primary source of fuel. A drastic reduction can lead to fatigue, headaches, and even mood swings. Furthermore, a low-carb diet can be difficult to sustain in the long term, leading to potential weight regain. It's important to remember that a low-carb diet isn't suitable for everyone. Certain individuals, such as pregnant women, athletes, and those with certain medical conditions may need a higher carbohydrate intake. So before you decide to jump on or off the low-carb bandwagon, it's crucial to consider your individual nutritional needs, lifestyle, and overall health. It's not about following the latest diet trend, it's about what works best for you and your body. As with any diet, it's important to consider your individual needs and circumstances. So what's the bottom line when it comes to carbs? Let's distill the facts we've discussed so far. Carbohydrates, though often maligned, are not the enemy. They are a vital part of our diet, providing the body with energy it needs to function properly. However, it's crucial to distinguish between the types of carbohydrates we consume. On one end of the spectrum, we have complex carbohydrates, found in foods like whole grains, vegetables, and legumes. These are the good guys, providing sustained energy and keeping your blood sugar levels steady. They're also packed with beneficial nutrients and fiber. On the other end, we have simple carbohydrates, found predominantly in processed foods, sugary drinks, and sweets. These are rapidly absorbed by the body, causing spikes in blood sugar levels and providing short-lived energy. Over time, a diet high in these carbs can lead to health issues like obesity and type 2 diabetes. What's essential to remember here is the principle of moderation. Carbohydrates, like any other food group, should be consumed in a balanced way. A diet too low in carbs can lead to fatigue and nutrient deficiencies, while a diet too high, especially in simple carbs, can contribute to weight gain and other health problems. It's also worth noting that individual nutritional needs can vary greatly. Factors like age, activity level, and overall health can influence how much and what type of carbohydrates one should consume. Therefore, it's always a good idea to seek advice from a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian when making significant changes to your diet. In the end, it's not about demonizing an entire food group. Instead, it's about understanding the role that different types of carbs play in our health and making informed food choices. That's where the real power lies. Remember, it's not about eliminating carbs, but about choosing the right ones and eating them in the right quantities. Let's continue to make sense out of carbs, not fear them. After all, knowledge is the best recipe for a healthy life.